uh, so the answer you put is wrong. The answer is not A, the answer is E. Anyone who got that answer? I will explain this. We have a 60 year old woman who comes to the office due to muscle pain, due to difficulty using the muscles. Sorry, weakness, muscle weakness and dyspnea on exertion. Blood pressure is elevated. Pulse is 78 per minute. Proximal muscle strength is four out of five. Can someone tell me what is the normal muscle strength? Five out of five. Five out of five. The normal muscle strength is five out of five. I put a table. You guys can check this here. Normal means you can put a lot of resistance and the person will be able to handle that. But when you say four, they can't handle excess resistance. Like, okay, when you compare three and four, the moment a person puts some resistance, the arm moves back. In four, they are able to handle a bit of resistance. In five, they can handle full resistance. Okay, remember in muscle power, five out of five is normal. So now we have a person who has mus reduced muscle strength, decreased muscle strength. Then we have hypertension. Okay. Uh, proximal mild hyperglycemia. Elevated 24 hour urinary free cortisol. Okay. Serum cortisol is high. Serum, sorry, is at the upper limit of normal and is not, not suppressed. This sentence is very important. It is not suppressed following administration of low dose dexamethasone. What does this tell you? This statement. Sorry. That it's not normal. Okay. If it was normal, if the patient was normal, if a normal patient, okay, let's, uh, normal patient has high ACTH and they say upper limit of normal cortisone. The moment you give them low dose dexamethasone, ACTH and cortisol will be suppressed. Sorry, the cortisol will be suppressed. Both will be suppressed, sorry. Both of these will be suppressed. Do you guys understand this? In a normal person, if you give them, even if it is high or normal, if you give them low dose dexamethasone, they are, uh, ex, uh, they are uh, what do you call it? ACTH and cortisol will be suppressed. But in a patient with Cushing's low dose will not suppress. I'm going to give you guys an algorithm. Okay. Is it right? This. Next. The next step you do is you give a high dose dexamethasone test. Okay, let's read the question. Serum ACTH is elevated. Still, chest X-ray reveals a right lower lobe mass. Which of the following changes are most likely to occur after administration of high dose dexamethasone? If you give high dose dexamethasone for a patient who has a pituitary ACT, uh, adenoma, who has a pituitary adenoma, what will happen to the ACTH and the cortisol levels? Yes. It will be reduced. But if you give it to a patient who has, an, uh, who has a tumor, an uh, uh, ectopic ACTH producing tumor, what will happen to the, uh, will it be suppressed? 
I'll give you guys an algorithm. Don't worry. I can see that you haven't really understood that. This is how you diagnose what it is. Okay. The first step is first step is measure uh, salivary or 24 hour urinary cortisol. This is the first step. You guys can see my uh, writing, right? Yeah. If it is, let's say it's elevated. We need to see if the person is just stressed. If the person is stressed, if it's a normal physiologic process, or if there's any pathology. What you do is low dose dexamethasone. Okay. If it is normal, if the person is normal, both ACTH and cortisol will be suppressed. So low dose, if it is high, sorry, if it is a pathologic condition, let's say Cushing's, Cushing's, ACTH and cortisol remain elevated. Next, what do you do? What's the next step? What do you do in these patients? Now you know that the person has Cushing's. You need to find the cause. Okay. How do you find the cause? You need to either de decide if it's uh, pituitary, it's a pituitary ACTH tumor, or if it's an ectopic ACTH tumor. Okay. What do you use to test this? MRI. Huh? MRI of pituitary. No, that is that is afterwards. You use a high dose dexamethasone. Okay. So you started with low dose. If it is normal, it will be immediately suppressed. It will very quickly suppress. But if it is Cushing's, the cortisol will remain elevated. So the next thing you do is you need to find out the cause. This is the etiology. We are trying to find the etiology. If it's a pituitary ACTH tumor, ACTH cortisol, will be suppressed. No suppression. Do you guys understand this? You guys understand this? If you have any doubts, please ask. Okay. 
because I have another question. All of these are about producing ACTH, pituitary ACTH tumor. Sorry, uh, ACTH tumor, ectopic ACTH tumor. What will be the lab values if it is an adrenal adenoma? Can someone tell me what will be the lab values if it's an adrenal adenoma? Will they tell me about the ACTH and the cortisol? Cortisol will increase ACTH. Hey, this is high, okay. ACTH? No. Low. Do you understand why that happens? I'm going to explain it, but do you understand why that happens? So over here, over here, in these ACTH tumors, these ACTH tumors, they will work on the adrenal gland. They will go stimulate this. The gland will become bigger and it will keep producing cortisol. But in an adrenal adenoma, if the problem is in the adrenal gland, then ACTH is not the issue. It's already producing cortisol. This goes and inhibits ACTH. Okay. It's very important to distinguish these differences. If you didn't understand, please ask me because this question is very important. So the in ectopic also the AC cortisol level is normal. Uh, in which one? Ectopic. Okay. Yeah. They are asking the changes that occur. Which of the following changes are most likely to occur? They are not asking if it's normal. They're asking, will it be increased, decreased after you give the high-dose dexamethasone test? Did you get it? If, is that the question? Yes. Okay. Do you guys understand this uh, flowchart? The first thing is, okay, a patient comes with high, uh, you suspect with high cortisol levels. So what you do is, you give that patient a low-dose dexamethasone test first. If it is normal, the ACTH and the cortisol will be suppressed very quickly. But if it is not normal, if there's a pathology, then the ACTH and cortisol will remain elevated. And you need to give a high dose of ACTH to suppress the pituitary. You need to give a very high dose. For an ectopic ACTH, no matter how much you give, it will not be suppressed. It does its own thing. And this is hinted over here. Chest X-ray reveals. What do you think this uh, this could be? What is this tumor most likely? Small cell. SCLC. Small cell. Lung carcinoma. Okay, that's why ACTH 